Good morning. Today is the second video in the book of James. And it comes from James 1, 5 through 8, which states, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like the wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He's a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. In comparison to God, we're just not very smart. Our thinking has been corrupted by sin and the fallen nature of man. Romans 1, 20 through 22 states, For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes have been clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they're without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools. Even if we had all the data, which we don't, we are not able to accurately assimilate and reason through that data, because our thinking is flawed apart from God. Our understanding of a situation is finite, at best, we know the past and a bit of the present, but nothing of the future. We know some things from our perspective, but little from anyone else's. We're not even close to omniscient. So why wouldn't we ask for wisdom from the one who knows all things? The Lord delights to give us wisdom. He's not annoyed at our prayers for wisdom. James 1, 5 says that he gives abundantly and without judgment. When King Solomon was given the choice to ask anything from the Lord, he admitted his need for wisdom. And God was so pleased with that request that he gave him not only wisdom, but everything he didn't ask for, riches and honor. Proverbs 2, 6 through 7 says, For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 2, 16, that we have the mind of Christ. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? but we have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ because we have the Spirit of God living within us. God reveals his precious truths through the Spirit of God and the Word of God. Since he knows us better than we know ourselves, he's able to communicate with us. He's not hindered by our slowness, but will work with us until we understand. There is one big stipulation in regarding to praying for wisdom. We must pray in faith with no doubting. For doubting is returning to our own finite and flawed understanding. Doubt hinders our ability to discern God's message. and keeps us agitated and lacking. God is trustworthy. When he makes promises, we can rely on them. He has promised to give us wisdom if we ask. Hebrews 10.35 says, Therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. If you found this video helpful, please share it with someone else so that they too can be encouraged if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe to help to grow the channel.